go for a walk. How often have you said that to someone? For some of us, it might be a frequent activity. It's such a simple invitation to go for a walk. And equally, the simple gesture of walking together, it can say so much. You might have a destination in mind. You might even have some goal settings, such as getting fresh air or your, your circulation up or even burning a few calories. You might want to throw something out at someone and, and test an idea you have. Whatever the context, quite often we just go for a walk to confirm or deepen a relationship with people. So Jesus. Jesus loved walking, and I mean loved to walk with others. I wonder how often that happened with him and his disciples. I can't imagine what was shared. You know, walking with Jesus must have really been forming the thinking and the outlook for the world of these apostles. Jesus wants to walk with you. He was born as a human baby, in a manger, as, as helpless as can be. And he grew up, suffered for us, died for us, he resurrected for us, and is present to us day after day in such a simple manner when he walks with us. Perhaps it is with a friend or family member. Perhaps it is alone. Yet after all of Christian history, Jesus wants to walk with you and listen to what is filling your heart and your head, distracting you perhaps or exciting you. He wants to help you understand your daily circumstances and explain things for you. I have honored people at times by inviting them for a walk. And once we are on the way, then I tell them that I wanted to go for a walk with Jesus. <laughs> they usually give me this look, you know, which I'm ready for. And then they soon get that I'm serious. And they're somewhat flattered. And it probably affects the atmosphere of our, of our conversation. But that's the point after all. So, this Christmas, I invite you. Dwell for a moment on the fact that Jesus loved you so much, so very, very much, that he became human. One, leave your home or your house and go for a walk with Jesus. That is, your spouse, your friend, your sibling, your relative, or even someone with whom you normally would not walk. Accompany one another. See where the conversation goes. Perceiving them as Jesus the whole time you talk about whatever it is you're going to discuss. Let the experience help you appreciate the significance of the presence of a person, the significance of Jesus being with you, wanting to be present with you. As he did with his disciples, he wants to walk with you this Christmas. He wants to accompany you. Then, two, I invite you to pray the following prayer together with the person or the people with whom you're walking. This was composed by Archbishop William Laurie of Baltimore, the Supreme Chaplain of the Knights of Columbus. During your walk, discuss the prayer with them. Discuss what a family is and, and, and what it means. Discuss how everyone has a family and compare and contrast it with other families and with the Holy Family. Give thanks for the family that you have, including everything you like about it and everything you wish it was not. Thirdly, do this during your walk so that upon your return, you can pause about 100 meters away or so from your home and then pray the prayer once more and as you look objectively at your home, let it sink in. Look at the home, the building where you live. That's the domestic church. Dwell on those who live there or visit there or think about all the relationships you have. It is indeed a reflection to some degree of the Holy Family. Ask the Holy Spirit for grace at the right perspective that you need as you're about to enter this home. Encounter someone, start on a task, or, or just get home and relax after your walk. So, may we celebrate the Nativity of the Lord, the incarnation of Jesus, uh, Christmas, with a new sense of the Holy Family and, and how each of our families reflects, to some degree, the Holy Family. You've got a role to play. In what way are you Jesus or Mary or, or Joseph for others? May we also rejoice when we hear that beautiful refrain, that beautiful refrain of God is with us. Understand this, all you nations 
and be humbled, for God is with us. Christos Rajdaitya, Christ is born. Let us glorify him. Slavita Yeho. How are you doing?